this lesson, we're going to take our first look at ratios. And ratios are a comparative relationship of two quantities or values. Well, that's a fine definition, but what does it all mean? Well, we're going to look at this example and hopefully bring some meaning to what ratios really are and what they stand for. Um, we'll take a look at the first sentence. We'll read through and then come back through and tease out the math clues. Vincent's Donut Shop sells donuts by the half dozen. For every box of donuts they sell, two are jelly filled. What is the ratio of jelly donuts to donuts sold? What is the ratio of jelly donuts to non-jelly donuts sold? Now let's go up to that first line. I know sometimes in our problem solving uh, posts we've looked at the questions first. And that's really our job. But uh, this time we're going to look at the first sentence and kind of tease out the math information from that sentence. Vincent's Donut Shop sells donuts by the half dozen. And right there we have some key information. So they sell donuts by the half dozen. You're probably thinking six donuts in a box of donuts. Excellent. You're right. Half dozen would be six. For every box of donuts they sell, Two are jelly filled. So this is a rule here. For every box, so that's every box they sell, two are jelly filled. And previously, in the previous sentence, we, we realized that they sell them by a half dozen, so we, each box has six donuts. Okay. What is the ratio of jelly donuts to donuts sold? So that we've got our job there. There's our first math job. Circle that. Again, it's what is the ratio of jelly donuts to donuts sold? We've got two bits of information we need to compare. The ratio is looking at the relationship of jelly donuts to donuts sold. So that's like all donuts in, you know, in the box. Okay, we know that would be six. Okay. So the second math job, well, it, it asks us this question. What is the ratio of jelly donuts to non-jelly donuts sold? So now we're comparing two different things. We're looking for a different relationship in our ratio of jelly donuts to non-jelly donuts. All right, so how could we figure this out? Well, we know some key information. Up there it told us that they sell donuts in boxes of six. So let's see, we've got, we'll just write circles to represent our, represent our donuts. And there they are. And we looked up in the information in the problem. It said, for every box of donuts they sell, two are jelly filled. So in every box of donuts, draw a little box around there if you'd like to. I mean, it's really optional. This is a math drawing just to represent our ideas here. So two of them are jelly filled. And it really could be any two. I mean, that's fine. We can just do it like that. So two in that box are jelly filled. Now the first math question, our first math job was, what is the ratio of jelly donuts to donuts sold? Okay. If they sell two jelly donuts in every box or of, of donuts sold, you would have, well, let's see. The first number we're looking at in that relationship, okay, the relationship to jelly donuts, well, that would be two. And out of donuts sold, well, we, we only know that they sell them in boxes of six. So you can see that two out of six are jelly donuts, and you can, and that is a, that is the relationship that we have there. For every six donuts, two are jelly filled, and we can write write that relationship in a few different ways. It is a two to six ratio, or you could say it is a two to six as a like in our fraction form, and then you know. If, if we're going to look at fraction form, we should also show that 2 out of 6 form. That's the same ratio, 2 to 6. And then 
you could also have two to six written this way. And there's a colon between the two values, okay? Now, that would be the relationship for all the donuts sold. Um, you could really reduce that number um, to a fraction in simplest form. That's a previous post. We want to check that out. But if you, if you look at this, it's kind of easy to see. We've got the donuts that we're talking about in here. We have the six donuts per box. And two out of six are jelly donuts. You can see that. Now, you can simplify that even more. If you break that down even further and you look at that top row of donuts, you can see that one out of three are jelly donuts. And that should hold true for the second row. And look, it does. One out of three donuts are jelly donuts. So really, you could break that down, divide it across here, and see that it would also be a one to three relationship. And we can write that down here as one to three, one to three, or the other fraction form that we're familiar with. And lastly, one out of three written that way. It's a one to three ratio for every box of six donuts to our jelly, or if it was, if you're looking at for every three donuts, one would be jelly. There you go. So that's the first job. Now the second one is what is the ratio of jelly donuts to non-jelly donuts sold? So again, we're looking at this same box of donuts. I'm going to jump down and redo this box of donuts here. And again, like I've said many times before, math drawings can be quick. And they're just here to represent your ideas and show your thinking in a different way. So we've got the same donuts to our jelly. And now that ratio of up above would be different because the question is looking for a different relationship of value. So we've got the relationship of jelly donuts to non-jelly donuts. So our numerator in this case, if we put it in fraction form, our numerator would be 2 again, but when we're comparing it to non-jelly donuts, if you look in that box, again, it is the same box, we have 2 to 4. It's a 2 to 4 relationship between, in this case, jelly to non, let's back up a second here, non-jelly. Okay, so it's a 2 to 4 relationship between jelly and non-jelly. And there you go. I mean, it's two, 2 to 4 that way. You could reduce that again if you're comparing those. But anyways, let's write this in different forms. We've got the 2 to 4 ratio. Uh, you could write it another way. 2 slash 4, or you could say it's a 2 to 4 ratio, and the last way would be 2 to 4. So, you know, if you read that, you're seeing that for every box of donuts sold, 2 are jelly donuts and 4 are non-jelly donuts. So again, we get a different ratio because we're really looking at different relationships among the donuts. We're looking at for, for different figures. We're looking like total, the jelly donuts compared to the total, and then jelly donuts compared to the non-jelly donuts. And there you have it. That's a quick intro to ratios, and thanks for checking out Mr. Marinick's EduBlog, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.